Hi, thank you for purchasing our dry biochemical analyzer. Before using this product, please watch carefully this video for understanding the operation and maintenance of the product. The dry biochemical analyzer is a portable, dry biochemical quantitative analysis instrument. The analyzer uses the principle of reflection spectrophotometry to quantitative detect the clinical chemical components in the whole blood, serum and plasma of human blood samples by testing the mesh test card that manufactured by WFR Medical Supplies and Jam Berhad. Check if the backing case is intact. Open the backing case. Take out the analyzer and its accessories from the backing case and check according to the packing list. Check all materials as per the packing list and check for any mechanical damage. Operating LED The indicator lights red if the analyzer connected to the AC power supply, it indicates that the battery is being charged. The indicator lights green after charging is completed. The indicator is off, the analyzer is not connected to AC power. The indicator lights blue, the analyzer is testing the sample. Insert code chip here. Each box of test card is equipped with a code chip with a SIM batch number. When unpacking a new box of test card, you need to insert the matching code chip into the analyzer card reader. Up button. In the history screen, press this button to view the history forward. In the settings screen, press this button to select the setting item upwards or increased number value. Down button. In the history screen, press this button to view the history backward. In the settings screen, press this button to select the setting item backwards or decrease number value. Menu button. Press this button to switch the function menu. Open, close, confirm button. Press this button to open the test compartment door after turning on the analyzer. Press this button to close the door. After placing test card with sample, the analyzer starts the test. The analyzer can be powered by AC adapter or built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Use only the power adapter supplied or specified by WFR. Battery icons explanations are as follows. Indicates that the batteries work correctly. The solid portion represents the current charge level of the batteries in proportion to their maximum charge level. Indicates that the battery is low. Please charge it in time. The analyzer should be kept into the packaging box when it is not in use. Keep the analyzer in a well ventilated room. Before using, check the analyzer for any mechanical damage and make sure that accessories are properly connected. Connect the adapter to the power supply socket. If you run the analyzer on battery, ensure that the battery is sufficiently charged. Press the power switch to turn on the analyzer. The analyzer screen lights on, the startup screen is displayed, and the cell test is performed. Once the cell test is complete, the sample type selection screen is shown. Select the sample type, the analyzer will display the measure display screen, and the analyzer is ready for use. If you do not select the sample type, the screen will jump this selection and display the measure screen after a few seconds.
insert the code chip with the same patch number as the test card into the analyzer. Turn on the analyzer and select the sample type. The analyzer enters the measure screen. Press button to open the test compartment door. Place the test card on the holder. Make sure the patient's hand is warm and relaxed. Use only the middle or ring finger for sampling. Avoid fingers with rings on. Clean fingertip with its disinfectant and allow drying completely or wiping off with a dry lean free wipe. Using your thumb, lightly press the finger from the top of the knuckle towards the tip. This stimulates the blood flow towards the sampling point. For best blood flow and this pain, Sample at the side of the fingertip, not in the center. While applying light pressure towards the fingertip, puncture the finger using a lancet. Wipe away first drop of blood. Reapply light pressure towards the fingertip until another drop of blood appears. When the blood drop is large enough, use a pipette to draw a sufficient amount of blood. and then drop the blood into the sample area of the test cup. Capillary blood sample must be put in the middle of the test cup, which has the curve for both sides. The blood sample cannot be put in the front or end of the test cup. The analyzer will close the door automatically. Or press button to close the door and the testing is started. Time countdown is displayed. The analyzer completes the test about 3 minutes later. The test results are displayed on the screen. Press button to open the door, remove and dispose the test card according to local regulations. The test result is automatically saved in the analyzer. Press button to select history or click history on the screen to enter the history record screen. Press button up or down to turn pages to view the history record stored in analyzer. In setting screen, using button up or down to select the setting item sample type. The asterisk is placed before it. Click and check the type directly to change the sample type or press button play to enter the sample type setting. Using button up or down to select the sample type in the following options blood, serum, plasma, control. After 10 minutes of preheating, insert the quality control code. Click the screen to enter the setting interface. Click the QC test and the door of test compartment will open automatically. Insert the corresponding quality control card as prompted. Wait for about 5 seconds and the instrument automatically enters the quality control test. Wait for the quality control result. If it passes, it means the instrument is available. Otherwise, contact us to solve the problem. After the test is completed, click to stop the test and take out the quality control card and quality control code. External quality control test. Take out the serum from the refrigerator and put in a room temperature for 30 minutes before using it. Then, carefully reconstitute each vial of serum with exactly 5 ml of distilled water at 15 Celsius to 25 Celsius. Close the bottle and allow it to stand for 20 minutes. 
and another 20 minutes to be put upside down before use. Ensure contents are completely dissolved by swirling gently. Avoid formation of foam, do not shake. Refrigerate any unused material. Prior to reuse, mix contents thoroughly. The analyzer should be cleaned on a regular basis. If there is heavy pollution or lots of dust and sand in your place, the equipment should be cleaned more frequently. Turn the analyzer off. Recommended cleaning agent is ethanol 75%. Follow the below steps to clean the main unit. Clean the display screen and shell using a soft, clean cloth tampered with neutral cleaning solution. Wipe off all the cleaning solution with a dry cloth after cleaning if necessary. Dry the analyzer in a ventilated cool place. 